Welcome back to Comparison World Facts. Today we're going to be explaining what the Netherlands is all about. Have you ever visited the Dutch country of the Netherlands? Did you know the Netherlands is home to the house where Anne Frank hid during World War II? When you think of the Netherlands, images of windmills and tulips probably come to mind. While these iconic Dutch sites are certainly a big part of what makes the country so beautiful, they're only one aspect of this vibrant European country. The Netherlands is a verdant garden with many horticultural charms, from lush forests and orchards to manicured botanical gardens. Beyond the average street lamp shade, even if you've only glimpsed the country on a passing train or through the window of your Airbnb host, you've experienced some essence of Dutch culture. The Netherlands is an urban country known for its liberal legislation and progressive attitude toward law, gender equality, and LGBT rights. Its cities are dynamic cultural hubs with multicultural neighborhoods and art galleries galore. Its small towns have cobblestone streets that feel like they were just dragged out of another century. With lush landscapes and crisp cityscapes as its backdrop, no wonder it has been voted one of the world's most beautiful countries over and over again. Definitely worth a visit. First, how did the Republic of the Netherlands gain independence? When the country gained independence from Spain in 1815, it was the first step in a long process of building a nation out of a history of eternal war. This began with the Eight Years' War, 1568 to 1648, against Spain and Spain's ally France, which ended with Dutch independence but also saw the introduction of the Dutch slave trade to the Americas. The Dutch East India Company also played a significant role in Dutch history, from its influence in domestic politics and Dutch colonialism to the present day, when the Dutch government took it over in the 1970s. Since the 1970s, the Netherlands has become one of the most liberal countries in the world when it comes to sexuality, drug use, and pluralism of beliefs. Meanwhile, the country has also seen a decline in trade with the decrease of sea travel and the rise of air travel in the internet. What kind of weather does the Netherlands typically experience? The Netherlands is a low-lying coastal country with a population density of approximately 34 people per square kilometer. That's 87 people per square mile. Its geography is astonishingly varied. The coastal regions are densely populated. They are home to large ports and industrial areas, while the inland regions are dotted mainly with forests and craggy moorland. The climate is temperate and classified as oceanic. The country has four seasons, spring, April to June, summer, July to August, autumn, September to November, and winter, December to February or March. There is a general similarity in temperature from one region to the next and from one month to the next, but temperatures differ quite a bit from year to year. So, what religion is the most prominent in the Netherlands? The Netherlands is a nation that has seen many changes throughout history. Initially, the two elements of its name were Neder and Lands, Lower Land and Upper Land respectively, referring to the low-lying coastal region and the mountainous interior. Culturally, the Netherlands has a long and proud history as a center of arts, trade, and education. It's home to the famed Rijksmuseum, the Van Gogh Museum, and the newly reopened Hermitage Museum, amongst many other historic sites, most of which can be visited without a guide and self-tour. The Dutch language is powerful and poetic, the country's culture is rooted in the Protestant faith, and the Dutch society values cooperation and tolerance above all else. What are the most renowned Dutch foods? When it comes to food, the Netherlands is a multicultural feast, home to typical Dutch foods such as stroopwafels, which are crispy waffles topped with syrup and powdered sugar. The country also boasts a wide variety of international cuisines. The Dutch love to drink beer, but they also drink wine, cider, and spirits, which are prevalent in the southern region of Limburg. Dutch staples of bread, cheese, and other dairy products are also famous worldwide. In terms of where to eat, Amsterdam is renowned for its food culture, with trendy restaurants and bars serving up a wide variety of international cuisine. Up next, what do the Dutch do in their free time? The Dutch love to party and the country has one of the highest per capita rates of alcohol consumption in the world. Many visitors enjoy Amsterdam's infamous red light district, while others enjoy biking across the country or enjoying the many waterways and lakes. The Netherlands is relatively expensive, but you can often save money by traveling on a budget. And although many visitors speak Dutch, many places have signs in multiple languages, making it easy to navigate with only a little help from an English-Dutch phrasebook. So, here's a brief overview of the history of the Netherlands. The Netherlands is a country that's notable for many things. They are one of the most popular travel destinations in the world. They're known for their culture and values, and they are also famous for their cheeses. The Netherlands is a country that is comprised of many different regions. These regions include the Dutch Lowlands, the Dutch Waterland, the Gelderland, and the Drenth. While each region has unique cultural aspects, they are all closely linked by their history and landscape. The Netherlands is a country that was originally inhabited by several different tribes. These tribes included the Frisians, the Germanic Jutes, and the Celtic Boi. 
Eventually, the people who occupied the Netherlands became united under a single ruler. This ruler was named Wilhelmus, and he ruled the Netherlands from AD 973 to 1049. As the centuries passed, the Dutch people built many different types of structures. Some of these structures included windmills and tulip fields. In addition to constructing these structures, the Dutch people also began to trade with other countries. Up next, what are some tips for visiting Dutch cities? Dutch cities are not only beautiful but friendly and welcoming as well. Here are a few tips to keep in mind if you're looking to visit Amsterdam, The Hague, or any other Dutch city. First and foremost, Dutch cities are relatively compact. If you're coming from abroad, you might want to consider flying in during a slower time of year when the city crowds aren't quite as bad. Budget out of the city travel too. The Netherlands is a small country, so if you have a day or two to explore the countryside, you'll likely find yourself at least close to some of the most major cities that you're looking for. Summer is the best time to visit the Netherlands. However, if you plan your trip for the warmer months, April to September, you'll find that Amsterdam is consistently mild. Use public transportation. The Netherlands is well known for its public transit system, which is easy and enjoyable. So what are some interesting art and architecture attractions to visit within the Netherlands? The Netherlands is a country with a long and rich history, both in terms of art and architecture. Its cities, towns, and villages have been continuously inhabited for centuries, which means that many of them are situated on or around former prehistoric monuments. Many of the country's architectural marvels can be traced back to its Viking and medieval past. The Low Countries, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg were among the first regions in Europe to develop urban culture. They were also the first to experiment with urban planning and architecture. Dutch architecture includes Amsterdam's famous canal system, the red light district of De Wallen. The Netherlands also has many beautiful churches from its medieval and Gothic periods. Six things you need to know about the Netherlands before you go. The Netherlands is a relatively safe country. Like most of Western Europe, it's experienced a recent rise in crime, but compared to other global destinations, it's probably less risky. The country are very relaxed about drug laws, making the country a central European hub for cannabis tourism. The country's most famous sites are well known to travelers, however, most of the country's sites are not run-of-the-mill tourist attractions. Many of them are not visited by many people at all. The Dutch love to party. They might not be as wild as the Germans or the Scandinavians, but they're up there. You'll find the Dutch to be very reserved about expressing their emotions. If you want to know how they feel about something, ask. The Netherlands is a country that'll leave a lasting impression on both new visitors and seasoned expats. This beautiful European country is worth a trip for its architecture, art, landscapes, and people, grounded in tradition but open to modernity. The Netherlands is a cultural gem that deserves to be visited by more people worldwide. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our video for more content just like this.